Here is our today question explain the adaptation in plants to low and high temperature first of all uh, we explain the adaptation at high temperature the problem faced by plants at high temperature is high temperature can denature their enzyme high temperature can damage their metabolism and denaturing of enzyme and damaging of metabolism harms or kill the plants ultimately so to protect themselves they uh, adopt uh, their selves so some adopt adaptation are first adaptation is evaporation evaporation is the loss of water through their body surface so it will cool their body and ultimately control the temperature of the plant so in dry season it the evaporation loss lot of water so ultimately plants close their stomata stomata are the cellular structure present on the surface of leaves stomata are responsible for the exchange of carbon dioxide water with the external environment so to prevent loss of water plants close their stomata second adaptation is so uh, uh, let's see what is stomata stomata or uh, the cellular structure present on the surface of leaves are responsible for the carbon dioxide and water exchange with the environment it is the stomata second adaptation is heat wave heat shock protein when they face temperature of 40 degrees celsius or above this they secrete a special protein name of that protein is heat shock protein so function of heat shock protein is to prevent the enzyme uh, from denaturing so how it pr- uh, prevent the enzyme uh, uh, from denat- to be denatured it heat shock protein cover the enzyme and prevent the enzyme from denaturing that's uh, the function of heat shock protein plants have to uh, face high temperature low temperature and high temperature we have discussed the problem and adaptations of the plant and in low temperature plant face the problem of crystal crystallization of the lipid lipid form crystalline structure in the cell it will change the fluidity of the cell membrane and affect the transport of solute and structure of membrane protein crystallization of the lipid structure are creating following problems for the plant so plant have to adapt themselves to prevent the crystallization of lipid first of all the most important work the plant done is uh, the increase in the proportion of unsaturated fatty acid plant increase the unsaturated fatty acid here is the major difference between saturated fatty acid and unsaturated fatty acid you can find at least one double bond in the fatty acid chain of unsaturated fatty acid but in saturated fatty acid you can find no double bond in the chain saturated fatty acid comes uh, from animal sources and at sol- uh, room temperature they become solid and unsaturated fatty acid comes from plant sources and remain liquid at t- room temperature so unsaturated fatty acid prevent crystal formation that was the problem for plants so they adopt and they prevent crystal formation and maintain membrane structure that is uh, that is how plant adapt themselves at uh, low temperature and how they overcome the problem of crystallization formation how they adapt themselves uh, and uh, uh, increase the proportion of unsaturated fatty acid let's see how plant adopt themselves at freezing temperature 
in freezing temperature plant face the problem of ice crystal formation within the protoplasm and around the cell wall ice crystal formation around the cell wall no problem for the plants doesn't uh, uh, affect or harm the plant cell so plant can survive uh, in this condition while ice crystal formed within the protoplasm it kills the cells of plant so that is the problem ice crystal formation so plants have to adapt themselves to overcome the ice crystal formation native plants like oak roses maples they change their solute composition of the cell by changing solute composition of the cell the cytosol become super cooled cytosol become super cooled so ice crystal formation within the cytosol don't occur ice crystal formation around the cell wall no problem for the plant so this is freezing temperature how plant adapt in the freezing temperature what was the problem faced by plant in the freezing temperature so that question is complete hopefully you understand it in freezing temperature plants also face problem that problem is the ice crystal formation in two location ice crystal for, uh, formed uh, one is uh, within the protoplasm and another is around the cell wall so ice crystal formation around the cell wall no problem for plant cell so uh, ice crystal formation around the cell wall don't challenge the survival of plant but crystal formation within the protoplasm kills the plant cells because within the protoplasm ice crystal formation change the fluid fluidity of the cell membrane and also change the solute composition so to overcome this problem plant adapt themselves to survive in the freezing temperature environment so adaptation uh, we can find adaptation in native plants like oak roses maples in adaptation they change their solute composition in the cell so ice crystal formation according to the problem took take place in around the cell wall within the protoplasm they change their solute composition and ultimately their cytosol becomes super cooled so ice crystal formation doesn't occur within the protoplasm so this problem is overcome second ice crystal formation around the cell wall don't challenge the survival of the plant or don't harm the plant cells so it is uh, so formation around the cell wall is no problem for the plants 